everybody. Welcome back to Ready, Set, Drone. Another great day here with uh, B from Droner. Uh, we have had this burning question in the backs of our minds. It, this keeps me up awake at night. I'm mm -hmm. like, I can't sleep. I can't eat. I'm, I'm just feeling really weird about this. I don't know which of these is faster in sport mode. Now, this is the Phantom 4 Pro, and this is the DJI Mavic That's the baby Pro. right there. I love that um, and they both have what's called sport mode. Now, sport mode allows you to turn off some of the sensors and fly a lot faster and a lot more agile. Um, and they are both pretty amazing in sport mode. But the question I was wondering is which one's faster? Now, of course, right now, it would be this one because this doesn't have any propellers. Yes. But if you had propellers on this, let's, let's assume that. So, okay. I mean, we picked our drones. We picked yep. what we wanted. Yep. Um, yep. I went for I went for light. I went for I went to I, I think that this drone right here, she's a lightweight baby. She has the mad propeller skills. She has power um, in sport mode, like the most agile drone that I've flown. Really. Oh, it's a boy. I'm sorry. This is yeah. his. I'm sorry. I have yeah. my Mavic. It's a she. Here, look. Oh, I didn't. Oh, ah, okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. so sorry. <laughs> I'm bad, homie. So anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this one's a girl. Okay. All uh, right. Um, but either way, he, I took him to beat her. Yes, and so we went out to a football field uh, at the Mighty Mustangs Canyon Vista Middle School, uh, and we flew across the football field all the way from beyond the track, which is more than 100 yards. Uh, you know, if, if you're talking meters, it might be close to 100 meters, but we were past the track and past the track, so it was outside the radius, and basically we flew from one end to the other, straight shot, as fast as we could, one of them was about 10 feet in the air, higher than, in, than the other in case we accidentally crossed paths. We didn't yeah. want to be at the same altitude. That'd be smart. And we used the Inspire to film the whole thing. Yeah. So, uh, so we're going to check out the footage. So you can see the Inspire parked up there. We got up in the air and we uh, started hovering. We tried to get to a nice even spot. Now I will say that we did this several times, but the result every time was pretty much the same. It was the same. It so, was the same every time. But you, you see, like we line up at the back of the track, yep. and then um, yeah, so pretty much we had our cameraman Tony. Bam! What up, Tony? Um, we had him count it down for us. Yeah, um, he counted just, it down, and then we just went full throttle forward. Yep. Um, and right off the bat, I'm gonna say they looked about the same from the beginning. And you know, it's interesting. From where we were standing, we were back in uh, behind them. So yes. they were flying away from us and we were trying to basically keep a straight line of sight. You yes. know, you can fly with the, with the screen, but you also want to make sure you're keeping a straight line of flight. My first time I did it, actually, I gave it just a little bit of yaw and the thing just went You yeah. know, it was like, because it was going so fast. So if you're flying in sport mode, be careful with the yaw. Yeah, That's you should, because then it was another thing. If you're flying with somebody else, make sure you have that altitude difference, because that could have been a problem. Yeah. Um, but we were smart. He was yeah, smart. We were uh, different altitudes, and I didn't give it that much, y'all. But yeah, but yeah, man, they took off uh, pretty close right at the beginning. But then you see what starts to happen. Stuff. Uh, I mean, nothing important. No yeah, the, the the Phantom. She's a fast machine. She keeps her motor clean. Tell me. <sighs> yeah, she, I mean, the wind was blowing more so on that side of the field. I feel like um, we didn't really have like wind monitoring for the whole field both times. Like, yeah, I, we never. There might have been there might have been some sort of weird tropical current going on. That's where what I'm on saying. Like, we didn't, it was blowing against the Mavic. We and didn't on one measure side. wind on both sides. No, you're right. That's we, what I'm saying. We didn't do scientific method. We need to go back. <laughs> but, <laughs> but assuming that the wind was the same and they both had a tailwind because they were going really fast. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Phantom just blew the Mavic out of the water. Yeah, as you can see when they're crossing the finish line, because we uh, we did have the Inspire over top, so you can see when they're crossing the finish line, um, it's not really all that close. Um, yeah. You just see the white streak go by, and if you look on the left side of the screen, you'll see the uh, the little black dot go by. Um, it's, you can see it, it's very clearly the Mavic, and it's very. Those are actually our nicknames, by the way. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the white streak and, and the, the little, little black, black dot. <laughs> Can we leave that in? Is that, is that going to... Tony get, would love to leave that is in. Is that going to get me in trouble? No. Uh, right. I'm not offended. <laughs> I'm not You're, offended. You said it, not me. I, uh, you said it was us. <laughs> well, I was talking about <laughs> the... All right. Either way, I mean, I almost... I did, all right, actually. All right. uh, yes. Anyway, so, yes, the white streak went, <laughs> went, was running, man. It was, it was scared for its life. I think um, one thing to keep in mind, the, uh, obviously, this is a much bigger battery, bigger capacity, more output than this has. And this is heavier... But it also, uh, the motors on the Phantom 4 Pro are upgraded from the Phantom 4. So these are actually bigger, uh, more powerful motors. I don't know how much. <laughs> anyway, so no, it, it's got some amazing motors. And while this thing is, is lightweight and it is, it is a fast machine as well, um, he's, not, he's nothing compared to her in terms of speed. All right, so pretty much 
I don't really know of a real practical application to be able to fly in sport. As you know, I'm a camera pilot. That's what I do. I fly cameras. And I've actually never had to fly a drone that fast. And I've flown all over the world in all kind of shots. I've done foul shots. I've done, you know, big, wide, everything. Um, it's normally about more precision than speed. So um, the practicality of using this while flying, eh, not so much for me. Um, I don't really see it. Um, maybe, like I said, like it could be just some kind of crazy car chasing that has to go like super fast. Um, but and it is interesting too, as we look at the footage. The footage is still really smooth. It I mean, is. It, yeah. It, it isn't mm -hmm. like it isn't like flying that fast made it shake all over the place. The footage still looks pretty fantastic. So mm -hmm. I have chased uh, water skiers before, and that's helpful to have a little bit of speed doing that, especially if you want to like overtake them. You want to sports mode? Fly over them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so that's one application. I imagine uh, if you. Fly, flying with race cars, you know, or something like. Well, you can't with race cars. I mean, the race cars. These things yeah, go 50 true. miles an hour. That's race true. cars are going like 200. It's just like the 10 miles an hour difference. I don't think it's going to. You said it really well before we were on the air, and you said that uh, um, good cinematography with a drone is about all about um, precision. slow precision yes. and flying slow. Yep, it's like normally the best moves are the moves that you're you're moving slow, you're being precise, you're you're really paying attention to the framing. It's just um, like marriage. <laughs> <Have> <laughs> If you, <laughs> that was a life lesson that I wasn't ready for. But yeah, you got to pay attention to the framing um, and just be precise. That's it. Be precise, be beautiful, and um, be open to moving towards that instead of racing through it. So the great news is everyone who watches this, myself included, is going to sleep well tonight because now we know this one's faster than this one. Congratulations. Yes. Hey, man, thanks for putting up with me. Ah, no I worries, man. It. it was a good race. It was a good race. And uh, we are just about to uh, wrap this guy up and go on to other things, but we hope you will subscribe and visit us at Droner on YouTube and RSD Ready Set Drone on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Stay fly.